bloody fantastic. Hey, hello everybody, my name is Goodboy, and welcome to a counterpicking guide for Dark Willow. So Dark Willow is the new hero on the block, along with Pangalia, and is enjoying a more favourable win rate than the dreaded Pangalia, who really has is having a tough time. Dark Willow is categorised mainly as a support, um, although playing as a mid-core, while the jury is a little bit out on whether or not you can get away with that, does seem to be something you can at least get away with. Critically though, you kind of want to know who she counters, but also who counters her. So generally speaking, she tends to prey on heroes that like to move around to be effective, but struggle, to, but don't do that at a high speed. So ultra, ultra high mobility heroes are actually a counter to her, but heroes that like to move pretty fast, but not super fast, um, tend to struggle quite quite badly and i'll explain what that means so this is these are um high speed heroes let's let's go for that it's quite hard to define so heroes like bloodseeker heroes like timbersaw and heroes like spirit breaker all have fast movement abilities one way or the other and basically her bramble ability will instantly lock them down and screw them over from moving and because it's got quite a large aoe that really mess with them so they tend to have a tough time and it will bring a lot of them out of what they're trying to do even heroes for example like meepo um, will actually struggle with bramble as well it's a you know it's a it's a really really tough time she then next preys on heroes that are reasonably spell dependent so again you know i mentioned timbersaw before but these are heroes like crystal maiden ogre magi lich any kind of even underlords vengeful spirits who are all pretty spell dependent because she can continually dodge what they're trying to do and equally um, cripple, damage, disable, nuke, silence, mute them even with her large um, set of abilities. Um, and particularly like in a team fight when Terrorize is kicked off, she really ruins, you know, strong team fight heroes that uh, particularly who like to use channeled abilities or just really nice setup. So that's kind of category number three number two and then number three is evasion heroes um, that generally like to avoid being nuked she is a very very heavy nuking heroes so wind ranger troll warlord and pa all would have a pretty tough time against her particularly again um <laughs> mainly because she can she can just instantly disappear uh from taking any damage whatsoever uh, when she uses Shadow Realm. So, you know, there's, th there's that kind of thing there as well. And so, heroes generally like that, she can have a really, really good little time against and tends to wreck. Like I say, it's it's if you're seeing a strong team fight set up, Dark Willow is a very, very good counter to that, generally. In terms of who counters her, well, that's uh, that's a, a kind of an interesting, interesting uh, scenario. The big one is multi-unit heroes. So when I say multi-unit, I don't mean Meepo, because I just mentioned the Meepo as a counter, but as in they summon units. So for example, Broodmother, Nature's Prophet, Arc Warden, um, you know, heroes like that. Even a little bit Lone Druid, but not quite the same. Um, all tend to be uh, a pretty, pretty bad time for Dark Willow, mainly because she is quite squishy. They can overwhelm her with units, and she struggles generally to, um, to kill them all off and take him down and uh it's very she kind of more likes to focus on nuking she's mainly focused on single target heroes and uh, you know her nukes kind of work more i mean obviously bramble doesn't um but but she generally likes to focus people um or like i say multi-units are not going to be affected by terrorize so it's it uh, you know they can still continue to hit her while the rest of the team runs away so you know there is that kind of thing going on as well so it's 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 pretty effective pretty effective um and so they're kind of quite a big a big problem for her the next category are heroes with super super high mobility so these are heroes like as i mentioned before um storm spirit and also ember spirit so both of those two heroes tend to perform pretty well against her because they can jump out of terrorize or even just move past bramble maze without any problem at all because they're just super super fast and again even like escape heroes like anti-mage who also have high nuke resistance um can fare pretty well 
which brings us on to our, our you know next category of heroes and that's heroes with high magic resistance obviously she's, she's a lot of magic dealer so anti-mage and husker and juggernaut all either have spell immunity or spell resistance or also sorry life stealer as well all have really good spell resistance and can resist a lot of you know spell damage um and so our nukes are largely ineffective against them so um so that can be that can be a really tough time the last kind of category of counter is silence heroes um so heroes like ricky silencer and drow is particularly good at really wrecking her day and bringing her down in in quite a quite a savage way really um obviously she's totally spell dependent um and uh this this obviously uh <laughs> will ruin her because she can't do anything while she's silenced so this this wrecks her in it particularly in like a team fight if she can't pop off that terrorize that does really really limit her power because that terrorize ability is just so good um so you know you've kind of got that thing going on there in terms of items that sort of uh work quite nicely against her naturally of course a bkb spell immunity is is great against her that wrecks most of or if not all of her spells um the other one that works quite nicely as well is orchid if you're kind of going that kind of aggressive um, way i mean like i say generally you just want to stop her from doing magic damage to you and so bkb will work really nicely against that but um of course you know if you want to orchid you're trying to get the jump on her and she's getting away all the time an orchid will work extremely well against uh against what she's doing in the early game an infused raindrop um or a town portal scroll against cursed crown will work pretty nicely obviously magic resistance like hood of defiance can be pretty nice um blade mail will obviously return a lot of damage to dark willow and that will really wreck her really really wrecker and as i mentioned before orchid but orchid builds into a bloodthorn and bloodthorn is really really bad news um so you know you know that kind of works together and then finally just again with the magic damage resistance a glimmer cape works pretty nicely as well so those are kind of pretty pretty standard items that work nicely against it so there you go that's kind of how to the uh, the do's and don'ts of dark willow thank you so much for watching please give the video a like subscribe and share goodbye